Hello everybody and welcome back to another My Porch Prints tutorial. This is Kira and today we are moving on to our very last video in the Blue and Ivory Junk Journal series. So if you uh, haven't seen the other videos or maybe this is your first time coming to our channel, hello, welcome. Um, we have actually been working on this junk journal that you see right here in a long series where I take you from creating the signatures to the cover to pockets, which was the last video that we just did. And today we're going to be actually decorating the journal. So I'm going to start with some of those pockets that we made in the last video, just gluing them into each of the signatures since I have four of these little pockets and four signatures. And then while I'm kind of working on that, I'll also be doing like just a little bit of decorating here and there on those pages. If I think they need a little lace or, you know, maybe some journal words, I decided to go ahead and take one of those scraps from when we made these pockets, we cut this little portion out and I'm going to just create like a little label here and use that to decorate the top of the page. And these little journal words are from our Blue and Ivory Junk Journal kit, which I will have all of the kits uh, for these uh, like decorations and ephemera pieces and all that um, linked down in the description box. So if you're looking for anything, it should all be down there. All right, so just continuing on with gluing in my pockets onto various pages, sort of staggering where I want them and um, just filling them out throughout the journal. And again, on occasion, taking a break and just doing a little bit of decorating, like on this uh, front cover page, I'm just adding a few more of those labels here. Keep it looking a little bit decorative, not too busy, but just enough. And I'm gonna be using plenty of scraps in my journal. So I have like this little scrap flower I'm just adding up here. Just if you have little pieces lying around, I encourage you to try to use those, find a place to put them in your journal. It's nice when you can like use up all those extra pieces and really fill your journal out uh, using things you already have on hand. So next I'm moving on to these lace windows. So I'm going to add some glue just on the bottom half of this little like lace window frame that we made. And I'm gonna glue it down on this page just like this. And then when it dries, you can add this little piece that goes inside of it just like so. I have a little pull tab there. And I also have these little doors that we made. So again, I'm adding glue um, just to the bottom half of this frame. And I'm gonna glue just a little piece of scrap lace I have cut off any extra and this is going to make like a little pocket that we can stuff some ephemera in. So once that's done, I'll just add glue around the entire perimeter, glue it down to my page like this. Make sure it's nice and stuck down. And then you can go ahead and fill that pocket with any ephemera you might have. And I decided to add a clasp to keep this door closed. So I'm taking just this little bulb pin that I have here and I'm gonna just hook it over the, the brad that's kind of like my little door handle. And then taking a micro hole punch or an awl, you can go ahead and poke a hole kind of towards the, the end of that bulb pin, um, like circle, I suppose. And then taking a slightly larger brad, I'm going to sort of poke it through the hole here, just like this. Flatten out those prongs. And now it should kind of be able to hook that bull pin onto that brad and that'll keep the little door shut just like this. And then you kind of just manipulate it and unclasp it to open the door like so. And then I'm gonna add a little ephemera piece to the top just to label to kind of fill in that blank space. You could make this another pocket or like a belly band if you wanted. And then I'm taking some ribbon and just covering up where those brad prongs are showing on the other side of this page, just kind of hiding them. And you can do this again using um, two clasps instead of one, if you like that look as well, kind of just a little something different. And again, hiding the uh, prongs with some lace. All right, now I'm going to grab the tri pocket that we have, and I'm actually gonna split mine up instead of layering them and kind of use them on various pages, just kind of make several pockets so I have more places to stick ephemera because I have a lot of ephemera. So taking one of those ephemera pieces, I'm going to cut just a little slit kind of following this uh, top of this label part right here. And then I'm gonna add glue all along the perimeter of that, just like this and glue it down onto my page. And now we've got kind of like a little sort of illusion pocket here that we can add more ephemera into. 
All right, and now for this next page, I'm taking some more ribbon and I'm just gonna glue it down, kind of create a little more color and texture on the page. And then I've got this sort of um, pocket here that we made that's kind of like a, like a flip. And you could leave the back unglued partway if you wanted to create like, you know, another pocket for ephemera to tuck into. I just glued mine flat to keep things simple and added some little ephemera stamps in here. Again, making another illusion pocket, and this might look familiar if you've watched our sepia and ivory junk journal. I did something very similar there, and I thought I'd go ahead and use that idea again because it works really effectively. Going in with some Distress Ink in the color Vintage Photo, just distressing a couple pieces to give them some dimension, make them stand out from the background a little bit. And then I had a few more of those little uh, like circular ephemera pieces, so I'm going to add glue to the bottom half of this one so I can tuck some inside of it, like a ephemera inside of it like this. I had a few of my tags here that we did some sewing on. And then again, another half pocket with some stamps. All right, for this next page, um, I actually created some tuck spaces when we first assembled our signatures. So I'm just going to grab some envelopes that we made, um, some cards, things like that, and just kind of tuck them into various places throughout my journal. Since I have a lot of these little, you know, tuck spaces I can use. And you can make this as, you know, complicated or simple as you'd like. Like for example, I am taking um, some of these little like fake paper spools that we have and I am wrapping some of uh, like the random scrap string and you know scrap ribbon that I have and then just cementing it with a little paper clip here and I'm just gonna add that into my pocket as well just doing a little bit of extra decorating and then I have these large fussy cut tags um, these are the uh, blue and ivory ones and I'm going to just add some glue to the right side glue it down to my page and this is going to make a little uh, tuck spot that you can again tuck more ephemera into kind of like a little bit different than a just a regular pocket and then this kit comes with some bookmarks so I'm just going to add a quick ribbon and an eyelet to it and just sort of uh, slide it underneath a paper clip that I had with some keys on it from earlier again adding a little more ribbon to the page just to make it look a little bit more detailed a little less plain and then again, grabbing more ephemera and just filling out those pockets. And you can use any ephemera you have. It doesn't have to be from this kit. Um, you can always add extra ribbons and, you know, uh, decorate things however much you want or leave it kind of simple. It's really up to you and your style of decorating. Have some envelopes here, added a little uh, postcard in there. And again, some fussy cuts, some tags using some of those uh, page tabs that I had left over. And then with other pieces, you can always create more tuck spaces, if you will. So like this one here, I kind of used these birds to create like a little space for some of these like tickets. And then I also had this sheet, which had like some words on it. So I'm going to cut out some of these and create like labels for my um, page tabs that I had since I didn't want them to look super blank. So I'm just adding some little words here and there. And then my pocket, I'm just adding a ribbon and again, filling it up with one of those spools. I kind of tucked a little like photo in here. I think this is from the, um, uh, the like vintage snippet kit that we had. And then I tied like a little twine bow on top. Just going to tuck that in here and then take a little, uh, butterfly ephemera piece that I had. I folded the wings just to give it a little bit of dimension. All right, and then I had um, some extra ephemera, including this uh, Edgar Allan Poe letter that actually comes from the Edgar Allan Poe kit, but it was blue, so I thought, hey, this will actually fit pretty well in my journal, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that piece, just tuck that right in here. And then I wanted to decorate the uh, edge of my page a little bit more, so again, taking some ribbon, and I'm gonna be using a couple of scraps I have to make like a little cluster here, so just kind of putting them in an X sort of formation, making sure all of my pieces go in different directions, and then add just a little bow on top like this. Just some quick and simple decorating that, you know, really adds up in the end here. All right, and then I'm gonna dip into my very vintage planner kit um, ephemera pieces that I had. Just grab a little, you know, notebook paper piece and some photos and just paper clip it to the top of the page. 
And then I also have some of these like fake book pages. This is another kit we have in our shop, the um, uh, coffee stained book pages kit. And I'm just tucking that in with some ephemera into one of the pockets, you know, to help fill it out. Gives it a little more character. And again, creating some more labels here. And then I've got these little cards I'm adding some page tabs to, and I'm just gonna tuck those into my layered pockets like this. All right, and then on this other page, again, grabbing one of those large fussy cut tags, creating another little tuck spot. And the kit also comes with this uh, bookmark here. And I went ahead and just sandwiched a page tab like right in between the two folded edges of my bookmark, added a little ribbon on top for a bow and a label onto it. And I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this right into the crease of my journal like this. And then taking some ribbons with some journal words glued to them, as well as one of those large fussy cut tags, this little bow here, I'm going to decorate the edge of one of my tuck spots like this. All right. And for this next page, I'm taking a lace doily that I have, and I'm just going to, it's like a paper lace doily. I'm going to glue that down, just to kind of decorate the background a little bit here. And then several ephemera pieces, one of those large tags, um, one of those book pages, a piece of vellum that I grabbed from our scrap pile. And this large fussy cut tag is actually from our vintage treasures kit. So again, that'll be linked down below if you're interested. And then I'm gluing one of those uh, bows to the top here. Again, just more decoration, kind of filling that page out. And on the opposite side, I am grabbing this tag also from the Vintage Treasures uh, large fussy cut tags. And I'm gonna add glue to the bottom half of it and some pearls to the top half, just like this. I love this little cat, I think it's just so cute. And I'm gonna turn this into like a little um, pocket just to tuck some ephemera into just like this. And I know this page is a little different than the rest of the journals. There's some pinks to it, but I really liked how that one turned out. It's probably my favorite page, I think. And again, just going through, adding more ephemera to various pockets, doing some decorating on some of the pages I thought looked a little bland. So like this one, I glued one of those book pages right in the center, just kind of folded it in half. And then I'm adding some ribbon to that crease as well, a blue one. And then I have this sort of see-through lace ribbon that I've been using throughout my journal. And I'm going to add that on top like this. Just make that page a little more interesting. And then I've got some tags here, again, just kind of clipping them through with a, a brad here. Not a brad, sorry, a bold pin. <laughs> and kind of creating an extra tag to tuck in, as well as grabbing some scraps and another one of those little um, spool cards. This time I just kind of glued a few strips of ribbon I had since I didn't want to waste a bunch of ribbon. It's just decorative anyway. I'm going to fill up that pocket. And then I figured this out kind of accidentally. If you fold your uh, lace doily, your paper doily like this, you can actually create like a layered pocket, which is kind of neat. Um, so you're just gonna add glue to the back in kind of an L shape on the side, the long side and the bottom like this. And then you can glue it down into kind of a corner of your journal somewhere, just like so. Add another bit of glue to this smaller pocket just on one edge here and glue that down like this. And now you've got like multiple spots that you can add uh, ephemera into. And if you want to, you can decorate the doily. I added some pearls along the bottom. And I'm also gonna take some ephemera from the sepia and ivory kit. Since I had it in my scrap box, I wanted to kind of use up some more of those tags as well. And they match with this kit. So I'm just gonna take some of, uh, some of the leftover ephemera I have here and really use it to fill out each of the layers inside of my little uh, doily pocket here. Just like that. And now we're kind of getting towards the end of our journal. So if you want to move some ephemera pieces around, now is kind of the time to do that. You can use up any extra scraps you have, sort of tuck them into various pockets. If you have lace, go ahead and glue that down. Make sure everything is cemented. And there you go. Really quick and simple uh, journal decorating. Um, doesn't take too long, you know, just kind of work on it little by little, step by step. and. There you go, you've got your journal. Now, all that's left is to close it. Um, 
It did take me a lot of confidence to finally punch the hole through the cover. <laughs> I wasn't sure if this was going to work. I've never actually done it this way before, um, but I'm just using my crocodile and I'm going to punch a hole kind of in the center of my uh, edge of my front cover here, add an eyelet to it like this. Um, I would have liked maybe a little bit more room. I had just enough to work with here. Um, on the back it was much easier, so I just kind of lined up where I wanted my holes to be, punched another out, added another eyelet. And then I'm taking some of this uh, ribbon I have. This is like a mixture of sari silk and jute cord. Um, so I'm just kind of grabbing some really long pieces of that. And I'm going to slide it halfway through both the front and back uh, eyelet that I made. And then just grabbing them and tying them into a little bow here on the side. And got this extra ribbon kind of like hanging off here, kind of making it cute and junky looking. All right, and I'm actually going to take some scissors and cut mine just so that all of the similar types of s ribbon are like the same size. I think it just makes it look a little bit cleaner. All right, so that was a really quick uh, junk journal decorating tutorial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this series and got some new ideas. If you haven't seen it, I do a, an entire flip through through this journal. So make sure that you go in the description box and check that out if you haven't seen it. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.